can see is your iPod's been pwned. Click OK. Now your next step is going to be to uh, build your custom firmware. So I'm going to click on uh, IPSW Builder. And uh, this is just the beta version of this uh, software. So right now the only uh, application or payload you can select is installer. And you're going to do is click on custom image. And you're going to want to click on use custom pictures. And um, if you click on boot, uh, boot logo, you can go ahead and select if you have other ones downloaded. Uh, but I'm just going to just use these default ones. Now at this point what you're going to do is click um, build.ipsw. Click on that. And now you're going to want to come up here and save it. Uh, you can leave it in this default folder or you can save it to a different folder. Just remember where you save it to. So I'm just going to leave it in this default folder. Click save. And you see down there it's uh, building the uh, custom firmware. If you switch over to the WinPoon application it tells you everything that it's doing. Um, this process does take some time um, especially if you have a uh, slower computer um, this could take up to as long as about 45 minutes to an hour um, this, this just how it depends on how fast your computer is um, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to build mine um, but just be patient um, don't panic if it seems like it's taking forever it's just uh, if you have a slower computer it will take you a lot longer I'll be uh, fast forwarding through this part in the video but I'm going to go ahead and just uh, record everything so you can see what it's doing it's done creating the uh, custom firmware it took me about 13 minutes to create mine um, so just please be patient if you have a slower computer it will take you a lot longer but uh, just be patient because um, it, it will finish at some point um, now at this point all you need to do is restore to that custom firmware that you just created so if you go um, put this down if you go to iTunes and what you want to do is just hold the shift button and then click restore hold the shift button and then left click restore now what you want to do is just go to wherever you uh, saved that custom firmware and you're going to want to uh, restore to that there's mine custom dash ipod click open and now it will uh, start extracting the software and it will uh, restore to your uh, custom firmware um, but that's it, it's real basic, real easy it's not real complicated um, at this point you will have your uh, custom boot image um, earlier I had it um, just due to the facts I've already pwned mine earlier uh, yours previously we'll just have the, the regular standard uh, boot logo but at this point when you're restoring you will have this custom uh, boot logo All right, now it's uh, the iPod's booting up. It's 
just waiting for it to boot up again. Uh, the springboard does look kind of funky. That's just because of all the applications I had uh, installed previously. There you have it. Wind pwned.